I know I've been a while uh, and I'm trying to get back to things so I'm gonna get ready to the video uh, it's gonna be a short video just want to talk about a few things and it's gonna be mostly about volume so for example we have right now on the chart it's Bitcoin on the four-hour chart and one clear thing is that really is standing out to me is this move that we had to the downside the thing is, is that everybody is talking about how we are going to go lower and going to 25,000 and everything like that the misunderstanding by one factor is, is if we go to if we break this level right here this 28,000 with no volume this thing is not going to 25,000 there's no support at 25,000 there's this little range right here that happened that's not real support this is a clear indication of a support area all of this this sell off right here but in reality buying because volume indicated that this was buying right here so we had a push down look at the amount of volume on the four hour that came in on the low that broke between this but the key is the reaction which i always tell people try to teach people is the reaction after the high amount of volume that we had in climactic volume for the past probably few months back the bullish reaction right after that this is a clear sign that institutions smart money big capital came in and were buying as the herd was selling so orders were being filled over here and we're going to the upside so it was clear buying price does not does not mean that okay so we should have rallied higher than this that does not how smart money big capital work they will come back to retest if there is still supply and that's what they did they came back they retested they were able to bring it lower again but volume kicked back up again the spread right here was very strong push-up spread so the close came back into this zone with a nice decent amount of volume it does not have to be higher than this because this was already our climactic volume that happened right here as you can see and we continued higher so after that then we ranged so remember this is i'm looking at 35,000 in this range over here 30 to 35,000 we ranged we came back high amount of volume the highest previously ever came in so expect when you get that amount of much amount of volume and not a continuation close above expect price to come back into that same first selling climactic volume in reality is buying volume by institutions selling by the herd so we came back so let me just mark that for you just to show you guys exactly how to look at this so this is your area right here all the way to this bar so you want to always try to draw it on that bar and let's go back as you can see we came as close as possible to the low of this we had right here on the four hour chart we had a no supply that came in right there less than the previous two on the four hour chart that's why i tell people it is possible to see no supplies on higher time frames just that is it is possible to see them all the way down on the one minute time frame it just don't expect such a bigger move like you would get on a four hour no supply on a one minute no supply so for example you had a no supply right here on the four hour and it happened right here into a down move reaction you know so into lower territory this is why we had this is why this is considered a no supply into that territory that is this selling volume so as you can see price came back up on the next candle and a decent push in volume increase that is telling me that institutions are back into game so they came back in volume kept on increasing as we kept on making higher highs so that is telling you that buyers of institutions or big capital is starting to buy up on these prices so that's what they were doing kept on going and as you can see we slowly gradually came up this gradual push up is a big indication of an uptrend coming into play so as you can see we started to come back up why didn't some people will ask why didn't it happen here and came up here it it all depends on 
is there's still supply in the market. So institutions will continue to test the market in certain areas, which this is the area, to see if there is more supply. If there's more supply, they want to grab that supply so it doesn't get flooded, for example, into this area right here where, you know, the herd will sell off or other institutions will start to sell off. So it kept on rising and as you can see everybody knows what happened after that. We hit to a high all time high area and we kept on going from there. But that is as far as this be acting as a nice support zone. And I'm not sure why people keep saying that it needs to go back to twenty five thousand to twenty thousand. If it goes down to twenty five thousand, twenty thousand, which is possible I'm not saying it's not possible to break this, but highly unlikely. We're going lower than 20,000. There's no support in 20,000. There's no support here. This little range right here is not enough. This area right here below 20,000 is a bigger range that possibly would come hit. But I don't see it going below there just because of the fact that once we had this huge sell-off right here by the herd and institutions, this wasn't just... This was not just the herd selling off because of this break right here. This was actual institutional money driving price lower in order to grab liquidity. And it is very apparent in this volume bar right here. This is not just on one broker or exchange. This is all on every single exchange. You'll see the highest. I went back. You'll see the highest amount of volume that came in ever on Bitcoin in the past. Oh, I don't know. I think it's like probably five years or something like that but yeah so as you can see let's look at the recent uh, drop sell off whatever people want to talk it i just call and get climactic volume and we time will tell if this is really truly was buying volume but as of right now it is showing a 75 percent i would say give it about that much a chance that this is was buying volume and this was not selling volume so as you can see there's sell of course there is sell orders but this is more by institutions of, of buying volume so you can see right here the bulls reaction and not just that we had a close above this highest amount of candle you can see it right here uh other brokers will probably be real close to that uh in general we still broke above back above it and we closed right near to it so this is for me is a clear sign of buying don't take my word for it. This is just my opinion. You trade based on what you uh, think and feel based on your chart analysis. And as you can see, we came back again to this area. We had high volume come in uh, to retest this area. It came back in. It does not have to be this amount of volume to come in. It doesn't have to be higher, for example. Even if we were to get a little break of this for over here, it does not have to be higher than this because if it was higher, than that then that means there's more supply in the market and they're still trying to grab that supply the big institutions so there isn't any more supply that's why you had another rally above here and then we started to range so as we are ranging down in this area does something not look familiar to you as i spoke about this area here it does look very similar similar and the reason I have these two lines, this is the first line right here, the break above, the close above this candle, which is the high four hour volume candle. And then you have a nice close right there. This is also that candle. So right now, institutions keep testing these areas to see if there is demand in this area. So far, it looks like there's not enough demand. So, but there is supply coming in as we come back down. Uh, sorry, there is demand in this area as we come back down to here. So, as of right now, it looks like we're going to continue to range until we can actually have a nice no supply candle form. You could say it kind of formed right here because it is less than the previous two. But they retested again for higher prices and we are still getting kind of bearish reactions. We are not like continue. You know, this would have been a better trade, which when we had it right here, would have went up, came back, pull back slowly, went up again, pull back a little slowly, went up again, pull back until it breaks out. I'm still bullish. Just my opinion on Bitcoin. Um, don't take my opinion for it. You know, learn to trade 
volume spread analysis and um, look online. It's all there's a lot of free places where you can learn about volume spread analysis. This is a clear volume spread analysis. This is a clear indication of spread, getting very long spread, a climactic volume, push back up, continuation to the high side. And that's pretty much all for today. I just wanted to talk about Bitcoin. That's pretty much it. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Please subscribe, share this video so other people can be aware of what's going on and the kind of so-called manipulation in the markets. Peace out.